What is Google Keep, you may be wondering. I'll give you a simple definition. It's Google's version of digital sticky notes, but with perks. You can receive notifications and reminders of your sticky note. You can collaborate and share with others. And you can even have anywhere, anytime access. Yes, so that means you can access it on your cell phone, your iPad, your Android, your Chrome browser. You can go to the public library, sign into Chrome, and pull up those sticky notes. So it gives you a little bit of advantage versus those physical sticky notes. So let's get right into the platform so I can show you some of the features. So how can you access Google Keep? When you're logged into Chrome, go to your app launcher. And depending on how you have your apps arranged, you may not see it at first, you'll have to scroll down. Here is Google Keep, and it'll bring you to the platform. I do wanna highlight one thing. For instance, if you're using Google Slides and you look over to the right, you'll notice these icons are here. And you'll notice one of those is Google Keep. They have this built in so that you can take notes while the presenter is presenting. You can take notes. Maybe they're giving some good information. You don't want to forget it. You can take notes. But also, let me click on take a note. Notice how it grabs the link from the presentation. So maybe my student is presenting on a topic that they had to present on. And I want to label it as his name. And I want to go ahead and take feedback notes because I want to share it with the student. So I'm just going to make some notes here for my student and I'm going to hit done and I can go on to the next student. So it makes it real easy for note taking as students or even teachers are being presented to built right into Google Keep. But let me go back to the Google Keep platform and you'll see here is my notes here with the link to the presentation. How awesome is that? And I can also collaborate and share that with the student. We'll talk about that in a moment. But let's walk through what we have here on the platform. When you log into Google Keep, you'll see a search button that allows you to use keywords to search for different Google Keep notes that you have. And then right now it's on showing all of my notes. All of the notes that I have will show here on the screen. I can use these as filters. So I can filter out notes with reminders. I have created a label that's for home. So any notes that I have labeled home, I can filter it out and it will only show those. And I can add more labels to help me filter out my notes. I can archive my notes and even place them in the trash can. So let's go ahead and create our first note. You will come here where it says take a note. You can click here and start taking a note, but I'm going to close this. Also, you have some shortcuts here. You can do a new list, keep a note with drawing, and you can also even do a new note with your image. And you'll notice some of my notes have images here. So I can organize and streamline my life. So I want to label if something's for school, something's for home, if it's a to-do list, we have some labels here. If you would like a copy of these labels, check the description of this YouTube video and you'll be able to download the zip file and you'll get access to a variety of different labels that you could actually use in your Google Keep notes. So I'm going to do this shortcut and do a note with image to show you how I added it to the actual um, Google Keep. So I'm going to go to uh, my downloads and let's find something quickly. Here's something I could use. Click it and you'll see it's labeling it here. So I know this sticky note is going to be labeled for home. So this sticky note I'm creating is for home. I'm going to call it my shopping list. And we're going to come back in a minute and actually create our list. But I want to go through the icons here first. So the first icon you see is this bell. This is a reminder you can set for your sticky note. So I can remind, get a reminder tomorrow, next week. And remember, you can download the app on your phone. That's iOS or Android. And you can get reminders and notifications and alerts on your phone of this information as well. Or if you're in the Chrome browser, you will be alerted. I can also pick a date and time for the alert as well. I can customize the time, morning, noon, afternoon, and I can decide how often I get the reminder. I'm just gonna put it on does not repeat. And you'll see here's the reminder set here for my sticky note. The next option is the collaborator. You can add people to your sticky note, to your Google Keep note. I'm gonna add Ms. Johnson because she says she's gonna go to the grocery store and get some items for me. So you can see I have her here and now She's able to pull up this Google Keep in her phone and she'll be able to do my shopping for me. And she won't have to call me a million times. 
Also, I can personalize by clicking on this icon, the little paint palette. I can actually organize, or I should say personalize, my sticky notes. So I can pick my favorite color. Also, you can actually add images. This is not the best thing. I think it's a little busy, but you do have that option. I'm going to turn it off. You can see I have my sticky note personalized here. This is where you can archive any sticky notes. And then over here, you can see you can also place it in the trash. Then you'll see the little three dots, the stoplight, the snowman, where you get more options. This is where you can delete, add a label, add a drawing, make a copy, show check boxes, grab images, um, text, and you can even copy to Google Docs. So let's make a, a list, a shopping list. So I'm going to click on the three dots, show check boxes. And these are the items that I need, Ms. Johnson, to give me some eggs, I need some water, I need some bread, I need some juice, and I need some rice. All right. So now, Ms. Johnson can pull up her Google Keep when she gets to the store, and as she's placing these items in the basket, just check it off. And I can watch this real time. I can say, oh, she's found the eggs, she's found the water. So she doesn't have to call me and say, what else do you need? Everything is on the list. So you can use this with your family, your friends, your coworkers, your students. You can collaborate with others to actually share and do tasks and share reminders to others. So I love this feature. And you can see, you can definitely personalize this for your students and your kids at home for chores or for your students at school. They can, you can make a to-do list to accommodate students that needs this type of accommodation. And as they complete the task, they can mark it off their list and feel accomplished. So I like this feature in Google Keep. So let's start a new note. I'm just going to call this test one. And I'm going to put some notes here. Take notes for math class here. And then I'm going to go to my three dots. And maybe I want to copy this to a Google Doc. I'm simply going to click copy, copy to Google Doc. And you see it's working. I can open up the doc. And there's the information. Simple. Voila. Also, you can add an image. And we'll do that in a minute. You can add labels. So let's go ahead and add a label. So maybe I want to make this a label for math notes. I can spell it right. Oops. So this is my math notes, sticky notes. So as I do my math notes, I want it labeled. And you can see I have the label here. And here's the filter over here. So all of my math notes will be filtered. So I have that. And also maybe I want to add an image because on this particular image, there's some text that I want to grab off of this image. So it's uploading my image. It's taking a second. It's still working. It's done. Now I need to just scroll down. Click on those three dots and click grab image text. And look, it's taking that image and taking the words off of that text and grabbed it for me and placed it here in my notes. How awesome is that cool feature? So those are some of the things you can do with Google Keep. And remember, I just created that filter with the tag for this sticky note. So when I filter it out, it'll show me all of my images that are labeled or my sticky notes that are labeled math notes. So it makes it real easy for you to filter and create things. If you would like to learn more about Google Keep, let us know in the chat and we'll provide you with more training and resources. Don't forget to download those labels if you would like to use.